Hey guys, Chad here. Well, I'm out here at the field today, flying around on this nice evening and uh, waiting on my Mobius camera to charge. So uh, I thought that it'd be a good time to cut a little video and uh, splice in some video at the end of um, my results that I had earlier using a Wi-Fi extender. Now, if you're an FC40 owner or thinking about it, um, you've probably done some research and you've seen that there's a, a few different ways that you can use Wi-Fi extenders to extend the Wi-Fi signal that the, the camera comes with, um, the connection between that and your phone. Uh, the one that I decided to go with was the Amped Wireless. Um, it's like the N600 or something like that. Um, I'll put a link in the, in the um, description of the video here so you guys can check that out. Now, in addition to that, what you can do is make up a couple antennas. Uh, I mean, buy a couple antennas to go with that. Uh, one of them is an omnidirectional antenna, which is basically the same thing that comes on it, except it's just a longer mast with a higher um, gain built into it. And the other people, then then the other uh, port, a lot of people use directional antennas, which uh, basically look like. Uh, Oh, you can't really see it, but that's what I got sticking on the top of the tripod right there of my FPV setup now. Um, now, I tested with the st one stock antenna and the regular, uh, regular stock antenna and another antenna that I got off Amazon that I'll put a link to that in the description as well. And I got to say, as far as the results, I was pretty impressed. Um, it at least doubles, if not triples, your distance that you're able to travel um, with the FC40. Uh, most important thing is you were able to maintain connection. But that was in an open area. If you're trying to fly around your neighborhood and other places but there, where there's a lot of different Wi-Fi networks and stuff, you're still going to get booted off. Maybe not on an older device, like I said in the earlier video, like an iPhone 4 or a Kindle, since they have better uh, Wi-Fi radios built onto them, but with my iPhone 5, I was having trouble keeping connected to it, um, you know, because what you actually do, um, you can do a search on YouTube and find all the different videos that people have done, is you got the camera itself, Wi-Fi network is basically FC40 something, which is the MAC address of the camera. So you name your Wi-Fi extender, FC40, whatever, and then just add a zero or a one to the end of it. And you log on with your phone to the extender, and then that automatically picks up uh, and automatically links up with the camera. And it's not perfect. Um, it takes some fiddling around to do and everything like that, but... You know, the route, the Wi-Fi extender is 100 bucks. Maybe you can find uh, one cheaper or on eBay or on sale. And uh, the antenna was like 7 or $8. Um, so it's still nice to mess around with. And I'm going to keep all my stuff around because eventually I want to take all this gear and throw it on to, excuse me, a different, uh, different uh, multi-rotor. Um, so... I'm going to put a video on here and show you exactly what uh, kind of results I got. And if you compare those to the last video that I did, um, you know, you're going to see that I can, you can go pretty high and get some pretty good distance. I would say probably um, 500, four, four, 500 feet compared to the 250 to I'd say 250, 300 is the max, but I'd say 250 reliably direct line of sight with what you get out of the box. Um, now to power it outside in the field, what you can do is you can either use an inverter and plug it into your car, or you can do what I've done out here, which is basically build yourself a power cord setup, which basically you take your battery and you just cut your battery, you have your battery connection here and you basically set up a cable with, uh, you just cut the barrel connector off and solder in one of these XT60 connectors. 
Hey guys, sorry about that. I ran out of battery out there in the field, but it was a perfect time because I want to show you again what I was talking about. So let me turn you back down here. So these are your XT60 connectors. I got a bag of them off of Amazon, male and female. It's pretty much what comes with uh, any of the batteries that you buy. And it also comes on the actual DJI itself. So, you know, you can solder these really easy. They're one of the easiest connectors to solder, I think. Um, a good point or two is on your female end, they're really hard to get apart. So what you can do is actually get in here and kind of pinch these pins together. And it'll make them easier to connect and disconnect. Which actually... That one there is still a little rough. And then if you go too far with it, you can just stick a knife blade down in there and make it eat and uh, spread it back out. So anyway, you get yourself any kind of 3S battery. The reason why you want to use a 3S battery to power all of your uh, ground stuff is because it is 12 volts most of the time. And I've made myself up a big power dongle here to power my goggles and everything else. You know, you just solder the connection on one end. And then any kind of uh, power connector you get with any of your devices, you just clip them off um, inside when you strip the wires back. Or even if you don't, you're going to have a red and black, positive and negative, And you just wire those all up. And I'd have, uh, I have uh, three of them on here. One, two, three, somewhere. Uh, one for my transmitter. There's the third one. One for my transmitter, one for my goggles, and one for my LCD TV. So that is that right there explained a lot better. Also, here is the box for the range extender. Um, it is the N600MW, and this is what I got off of YouTube from a guy, and it's pretty much what uh, a lot of people in the forums are doing. Any extender will work. I've used a Wi-Fi extender before for my home network, and I didn't like them. It didn't work too well. This, like I said, works good for the application, but the, there's still some glitchiness between the iPhone, the connection with this, and the connection with the camera. So definitely make sure you're flying line of sight or you have a spotter when you're testing it out if you want to go this route um, just because it's going to be really quick. You're going to lose your orientation really quickly um, if not. So try to keep everything in front. Try to keep the rear of the craft in front of you so that way left is left right it's right so on and so forth so that's going to do it for today's video i'm going to cut into uh the flight here the flight footage so that way you can see exactly how much more range i got with the wi-fi extender so uh we'll catch you next time um in the meantime uh thanks for all the likes subscriptions tell your friends and uh, if you got any questions or comments about anything fpv you know, I'm new into this uh, as well, and I'm kind of learning as I go. Luckily, there's a lot of resources, and I got some good friends out there that are helping me along the way. So, see you later.